So, a couple of days ago, DJ Zindler said this during a podcast. One thing about the South African youth is not just that they they are unemployed. A lot of them are unemployable. They don't Yo. have the skill that is required. It, it, bug, it bugs me how, how long it takes for us to fill in positions as era. Just to find the right person for our stores. It, it literally takes longer than it should in a country that has so much un unemployment. We're yeah. opening a store at Highfield, I think in Whitbank. We're just looking for three people. After this video was dropped, the video blew up and the people of South Africa, the South African youth, we are very pissed off at DJ Zinkley. A lot of people were angry at her for making such a statement for calling the youth of South Africa unemployable. But hear me out guys hear me out if you come down to really listen to what dj zindler said dj zindler is not actually pointing out that south african youth are the problem or that south african youth are unemployable no all she is saying or all she's trying to convey is that yes south african youth are unemployed are unemployable and the reason behind that is because they lack the skill set guys emphasis on skill set they lack the skill set that requires them to be employed <clears throat> if i'm a manager and i want to employ somebody there's a particular skill set i'm looking for all dj Sinclair is saying that south africans lack some of those skill set that managers management of different companies are looking for i didn't hear her call south africans unemployable I didn't hear her call the youths of South Africa lazy. I didn't hear her call the youths of South Africa unemployed, unemployed youth. So I don't understand the backlash behind DJ Zindler's name. Even Nota say that she doesn't actually make music. That all she does is she's a brand and she puts her name in a already made music. Nota, I interviewed DJ Zindler. DJ Zindler is not a talented I, music maker. What do you mean? I'm her sorry. music is brilliant. It's not her music. She doesn't make it. She's not a talented music maker. Oh, no, no she is. No, she doesn't make music. What does she make? She has people make music for her. She's a brand that attaches itself to popular to music. music. Yes. Yeah, and, and then she's a DJ. She promotes music. The DJ's job is to promote music. She promotes music. So all I'm saying is this. <sighs> The, 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 the mere fact, which I just want to tell you this. If we prop up a DJ <laughs> Zinke, if we prop up a DJ Zinke, just as a brand and a figure, and we only prop up, the people that contribute to that music, right, they don't benefit from that fee ch full chain or ecosystem without her, which is unfair because their talents come about without her. But they only benefit from her because they need to be associated to her brand because we are only associating success in music creation because it's um, behind a marketed brand. Yes, a lot of people do that. DJ Khalid is not an artist, but he has a lot of song under his name. So why is DJ Zinclair facing backlash for actually pinpointing the problem in South Africa? And I think what she's trying to say in that video is that the government should look into this matter. And guys, remember, the elections are coming. So for this video to start trending now and for some south africans they are missing they are misinterpreting the message that dj zindler is trying to send i have to say the problem is not dj zindler you guys should just go sit back hear what dj zindler was actually saying in the video yes you are unemployed because you don't have the skill set you might go to school you might study for uh, to be an accountant you might study to be an engineer but there is a difference between you and your fellow classmate there is a skill set you have that your fellow classmate doesn't have so don't be surprised when if both of you go for interviews he will be appointed he will be taking the job will be offered to him but you see yourself maybe you will have the best result but having the best result doesn't mean you have the best skill set remember emphasis on the skill set I know, yes, the backlash and everything that DJ Zinclair as a celebrity had to do damage control. And uh, I pity her because at the end of the day, she had to come out publicly and uh, apologize to all South Africans for saying what is actually truth. For saying what South Africans should have rallied behind her and say, yes, DJ Zinclair, we know this is what you are saying. Okay, how are we going to fix this problem? But no. You guys are making her now apologize and say sorry for saying the actual truth. 
so guys listen to her apology video and uh, when we come back i want to hear your thoughts hi guys um this is dj zinke i felt that it was important that i did this video to explain myself um i hope it won't be long but i want to start by saying that the first time i saw that this video had been misinterpreted and misunderstood the first thing that i did was humble myself and i apologized on twitter again i apologize to you if you felt insulted or um if you felt offended by what i said with that said can i please now just take this opportunity to explain myself so and i'm gonna base my my my, my my explanation on something that I've spoken about before on a different platform and it's not something that I'm speaking about the first time right and I will say though that maybe I I, 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 I was wrong to use the word unemployable because that's the word that now has been taken to define this whole conversation and make it seem like when I said unemployable one I was blaming the youth I was not blaming the youth Number two, it, it's made to seem like I was offending the youth to maybe say they're not educated enough, they're not skilled enough, they're not smart enough. That is not it again. If it came across that way, please accept my apologies. I really apologize. So now going back to my point, what I've always said is I believe that in this country, a lot of the problems of unemployment not a lot of them but a large portion or a contribution of it can be resolved by small businesses which is where i come in which is where i even got into this conversation right so now my conversation was that we need to get the youth to a point where they are eligible for employment they are ready for employment if someone is looking for um someone who is going to fill a position we need to get to a point where the south african youth is fully ready to fill in positions so maybe the word unemployment is the wrong word to use maybe i should have said maybe they're not eligible i, I could be wrong i don't know which word to find that is not going to be offensive but i'm going to explain what i'm saying so what i meant was so going back to my point what i was saying is i believe that we as young as young businesses are creating solutions for unemployment because i've employed a lot of people in my small businesses and i feel like i could do more if the government was supporting me this was the whole reason behind this conversation was i feel like i could do more to support not to support to train to give experience to the youth if the government was supporting me in what way you may ask in the way that yes i am training people in my business but because my business is there and i also need to learn as a young business i need the government to take people that have expertise that have gone to school that have learned hr have learned marketing who might be sitting at home because there are no jobs to say okay dj isn't here here are these people here are the people that need training can they come and work in your business for as part of experience that's what i meant i meant that we could train more people if we had more support from the government right so now um when 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 it came out that i said that people are unemployable it made like again it made it seem like i was attacking you guys so i want you to maybe understand it from the point of if you are sitting somewhere at home right now and you know someone who has a qualification who has metric but they are sitting at home because they don't have experience or they've applied for a job and they were told they don't have enough experience or they don't they're not qualified enough or they don't have a driver's license or they don't have this or that by unemployable that's the context i was talking about i wasn't saying Wuti, it's because they are not smart because they are don't they are not skilled enough there that's not what i meant what i meant is and also this thing you would see you are unskilled it's not meant to say you don't know anything you don't, can't do anything it's, uh, by skill i meant i meant expertise in a field right and for someone to have an uh, to be an expert in the field they need training right they need to go to school for those things and again the youth becomes ineligible if we don't even have the education for uh, that that makes us eligible that gives us the skill that we need to go to work right so i'm just trying to contextualize my word unemployment which was maybe the wrong choice of words i was talking about that youth that is sitting at home that has been 
that has been sitting at home for years with a qualification, that's been sitting at home because they don't have money to finish school or whatever, to say that those people are not ready to be employed, not because of what they've done or because they've, they've done something wrong, because in this country there aren't enough opportunities. So I was saying, I'm not going to create all the opportunities. No, I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying in my small way, as a small business, I can then contribute by training more people, by giving more people space to come and do their practicals, their experience, what, whatever they need in my business if I just got the right support from the government to equip me, to train more people, to give more people opportunities like that in my business. So before I go, I want to say again, unemployable, maybe was the wrong word unemployable maybe made it seem like i'm looking down or undermining people that's not the case in my maybe angshawi language and i apologize but i definitely did not want was not blaming the youth or accusing them or offending them i was just saying that in this country i feel like a, a lot of young people don't have opportunities that make them ready for the workplace right and if you again know someone who has a qualification who's sitting at home without employment or if you know someone who does not have the right qualification for the job that they want to do or someone who doesn't like that that's what i meant by unemployable right and um and the reality of of things in businesses invest in people in terms of the people that they hire because they need them to 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 to, to come into the organization and, and build something and that's why employees are so specific about the kind of people and the talent that they need so what i'm saying is maybe my choice of words was wrong maybe when i said unemployable but guys i i don't know how many times i can emphasize Uti when i said that it was not me saying that the youth is at fault or that the youth is lazy or that the youth is um what's the other word um not smart enough to work at my shops because that's what people are saying now that is not what i was saying i was actually maybe not meant to do that but in a way i was blaming the government for not making sure that young people are ready for employment right but I will I think this is what I wanted to say to you guys and also just one more thing um, I've got a few people that say well don't come to Whitbank because we're not good enough for you guys that's not what I meant that's not what I said I said I was struggling to find people who can fill the positions does that mean that I've looked throughout Whitbank that everyone in Whitbank has applied no does it mean that the people that have applied are not smart no it's exactly what I was saying. Maybe the people that have applied in Woodbank don't have enough training for us to hire them. And that's what I meant by unemployable. If I am looking for someone who has three years of experience, has a, uh, maybe, I don't know, metric, maybe has this, has that. Maybe what, what I'm saying is if I found someone who only has metric, but does not have all the other experience that I need or maybe has experience in a different field and not this one it makes them unemployment uh, employ, unemployable in this position I right now if I was to apply and again unemployable is the wrong word if I was to now apply for a position as as maybe the CEO of I don't know a company Unilever or wherever if they say to me teachers that you have experience of this much do you have this and that and this and that and i said no i don't have these two but i have these three then i i'm unemployment I, i'm a, <laughs> sorry i'm unemployable in my explanation in my in my thought in how i thought unemployable you know how i was meaning unemployable so anyone can be unemployable in what i meant but again i will never use the word unemployable i will try and look for other word other words maybe but what I meant is we are not getting enough support to make sure that the youth is ready for the jobs that they would like to occupy. I hope this makes sense. Thank you guys for your time. Okay, guys, welcome back. I've noticed that 
let me have been begging for you guys to subscribe and uh, like this video but no more i'm not gonna beg anymore so if you like subscribe if you don't don't subscribe if you like like the video all i know is if you don't like the video seven years of bad luck for you let's jump into the video so dj zinter has actually apologized and i'm happy with that she is trying to do damage control but my problem now is is what dj zinter said actually that bad for this level of backlash that she's facing or the the south african youth the so-called south african unemployed youth misinterpret what she actually said let me know down below who are you are you for or are you against dj zinclair for the statement she made during that podcast i'll see you guys on the next video have a blessed day